Hey guys, it's MH Finn back with another video. Many of you have expressed interest in shorting a stock using the popular free app Robinhood. This is a video explaining exactly how to do that. Let's say you're Mike and you think Apple is a terrible company whose stock price is going to go down in the near future. Using a normal brokerage, you could short sell to profit off Apple in the situation that your prediction come true. However, you're using Robinhood, and as it turns out, you simply can't short sell. It's not supported as of January 2019. But there is good news. Mike can still profit using this strategy by purchasing long put options. Now, this is a slightly different strategy with pros and cons compared to short selling, but ultimately the same end goal is achieved. Profit when Apple goes down. The major difference between the two strategies is that short selling exposes Mike to unlimited loss potential meaning he, in theory, could lose an infinite amount of money. And because of this, brokerage firms usually require a large amount of capital to implement the strategy. The advantage to short selling in this large amount of risk is that you can wait an infinite amount of time prior to executing your short sell trade. There is no time sensitivity in waiting for Apple's price to fall. This is different from put options in that in a put, you know beforehand the maximum amount of money you can potentially lose, limiting your risk but you also have a limited amount of time for Apple to fall below a certain price. Let's look into an example using Apple, which is currently selling for $152.33 per share. If we go on the Robinhood app and navigate to the Apple options page, we are met with a dizzying array of buttons. We want to make sure we have selected the buy tab and then the put tab. And finally select an expiration date, which in our example is January 17, 2020. The expiration date is incredibly important in that it's the date that the Apple stock needs to fall by in order to profit. The further out this date, the more expensive the option in general. Now we're going to select the $180 strike price which is priced at $33.10. To understand how much we're truly paying per contract, we multiply this number by 100, which brings our total to $3,110 per contract. If we look into the details, we see that the break-even price is $146.87, which in simple terms means Apple stock needs to fall 3.58% off its current price prior to January 17, 2020 in order for Mike to begin making money. Now if we pretend Mike has $10,000 worth of capital, he's ready to bet on Apple going down, we can derive that he can buy three of these option contracts for a total price and risk of $9,345. This is the most amount of money he can lose in this bet. Let's take a look at the profit loss chart so we can have a better understanding of this. The left side of this chart, the y axis, represents our profits or losses, while the x axis of this chart represents the price of Apple at the date of expiration, aka January 20th, 2020. The blue tick represents the current price of Apple. Starting with the bottom line, we can plot our maximum loss, which represents $9,345. If we follow this line where it begins to turn upwards, we can plot the maximum loss point, which is the price at which Mike will occur a 100% loss of his investment. This point is at $180, which in simple terms means that if Apple stock is $180 or higher on the date of expiration, Mike will lose 100% of his investment. The next important point is the break-even, which is here, where the line crosses the x-axis. This point at $146 was displayed in our options details page. It represents the point at which Mike will break even with his investment. In simple terms, Mike will make a profit if Apple finishes underneath $146 on the date of expiration and will lose money if Apple finishes above $146. The space between $146 and $180 represents partial loss space which just means that if Apple finishes between 146 and 180, Mike will incur anywhere from a 0 to 100% loss. Obviously, the closer it is to 180, the closer to 100% loss it will be, and the closer it is to 146, the closer it will be to a 0% loss. Let's say Mike was right in his prediction, and come January 20th, 2020, Apple finishes well below the $146 break-even point. Let's say that it finishes at 120. In this scenario, it is estimated Mike would profit $8,061, nearly an 80% return on investment. Let's go through some more examples. 
We can plot any Apple price at the date of expiration anywhere on this chart and follow it out to the y-axis to get our profit slash loss. In this example, we can conclude we lose nearly half our investment. And in this one, we can easily conclude that we would lose 100% of our investment because the price falls below, I'm sorry, above the $180, 100% loss point. Thank you for watching. As you can tell, put options are a great way to make money on stocks you think are headed downward. Please feel free to comment and subscribe if you enjoyed my video. Thanks.